An individual dressed in MOP4 and in a chemical hazard environment may have to change contaminated or damaged CD coveralls to ensure his survival. This procedure is only performed on order of the local commander and should be performed with the assistance of a buddy. It may, however, need to be undertaken without assistance. Throughout the procedure, the C4 mask will remain worn by the individual as a precaution against vapor hazard from off-gas. First, select an area free of liquid contamination. Remove any contaminated equipment for later decontamination and ensure that the replacement CD coveralls are within reach. After decontaminating the exposed portion of both overboots, loosen the overboots and pull them off slightly, but do not completely remove them. Next, decontaminate the glove outer shells. Undo the Velcro and zipper of the front of the coveralls. Grasp the hood, lift it up and away from the head. Decontaminate the outer edge and lower portion of the mask, including the lower part of the canister. Loosen both glove shells considerably without exposing the wrists. Reach back and pull off the glove shell along with the sleeve while removing the coveralls from the shoulder. The liner of the glove will remain on the hand. Work the coveralls off the other shoulder. The hand covered by the glove liner will assist in this action. Caution must be used to avoid touching the outside of the coveralls. Pull off the outer portion of the glove along with the sleeve while removing the coveralls from the other shoulder. Bring the coveralls down below the knees. Work one over boot loose, then grasp the boot and the bottom of the pant leg and pull them off at the same time. Remove the overboots and step out of the coveralls. Retrieve and put on new CD coveralls. Zipper the front of the coveralls up to the center of the chest and then replace and fasten the hood. Put on the outer portion of the original gloves. Touch only the gauntlet of the glove shells while performing this step. Lift the legs of the coveralls above the normal boots. Put on the original CD overboots handling only the upper portions. Fasten the laces or buckles and Velcro tabs. Attach the Velcro tabs at the ankles of the new CD coveralls. Decontaminate the gloved hands and fasten the Velcro tabs at the wrists. Seal the damaged or ineffective CD coveralls in a vapor-proof bag and tag the bag as exposed to CW agents internally contaminated. The vapor-proof bag will contain off-gas.